Welcome back everyone. The question that I see all the time right now is whether or not Fortnite is going to be coming back on the iPhone or if it's going to fully be off or whatever the case is. Now there's a couple of ways to go about looking at this. Now first of all, Fortnite will probably not come back in the way that we're almost used to by now. I don't think Apple is probably going to allow Epic Games and Fortnite to come back on the App Store. They just have so much beef right now and it looks like Fortnite is not cooperating or Epic Games isn't cooperating, which if you guys don't know, Epic Games owns Fortnite. So it doesn't really look like they're cooperating that much, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see about that. But the likelihood of Epic Games putting Fortnite back on the App Store, it doesn't really make too much sense. Now you can still download Fortnite if you go into your purchases within your app store if you already downloaded before and you can just download it straight from there but you just can't download it right now brand new you can still sideload it a couple ways i think if you use a couple of different apps you can go and sideload it which is great but i just don't think natively the way we are used to it downloading it i don't think it's going to come back in that form however the specific lawsuit that has just came out against apple from epic games basically saying you know apple is creating kind of like a monopoly and you know there, there's just no other competitors for this specific situation that the app store is in that you know if you want to go ahead and download an app you have to go through the app store versus on android you can go ahead and use the epic games launcher and download fortnite that way using an apk file and you can go ahead and install your own apks so i think epic games is fighting apple right now in order to kind of make them either have their own app store which is what epic games is kind of wanting and that's that's kind of what they're saying or allow iphones to install and sign their own ipa files in their phones because it's just too much competition there's just no competition it's basically a monopoly that apple has on their own platform and I don't know whose side I'm on. I'm really not on either one side because first of all, I wish I had the capability of installing my own IPAs on my phone. I think that'd be really cool. That would literally take away the alt store and signing services and certificates and all that stuff. I find that stuff so annoying. But if Apple were to go ahead and do that, that would be amazing. I would literally love that. But on the other side, there's a situation where, you know, if we allow random apps and stuff to be installed by us, that does kind of compromise the security of it. But on the flip side, like Android has been doing it for years. Like, I really don't think there's obviously there's security on both sides. Google doesn't want their phones to be like unsecure either. And they're trying to make it so it's more they're just trying to make it so it's more open. But even on the Androids, there's other app stores and other ways to go ahead and downloading it. There's only one app store on the iPhone, which is the Apple App Store. And like I said, I don't know if it's a monopoly, it's if it's considered a monopoly, but it is kind of weird that that is the case. And I think Epic Games honestly does have some merit in, in that specific area. But at the same time, like they should just, you know, pay Apple what's rightfully due. You know, you're putting it on their app store. So you have to give them 30% of whatever. But I still think we should have the ability and capability of pretty much sending our own IPAs without going through Apple. Basically, how, like exactly like how we do it on Androids. I wish there was a way for iPhones that we can do that. And maybe this lawsuit will shed some light there. Probably not because Apple has a ton of money. But Epic Games also has a lot of money. So it'll be very interesting to see who goes through with this. So. That's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.